the future of testing some of the most powerful jet engines in the world is right here at Delta's brand new facility in Atlanta. This is exciting because this is the largest test cell in the world and we're going to be able to run engines 30, 40, 50 years into the future because of the way we built this facility. The engines that keep travelers up in the air during tens of thousands of flights a day have to be checked regularly to make sure they're safe to fly. That's what this place is for. Airline engines are getting bigger and bigger because we're building bigger and bigger, more efficient wide body aircraft. This test cell can handle up to 150,000 pounds of thrust. Everything in here is gigantic, designed to keep the engine's massive power inside the cell and away from bystanders. The walls are made of concrete three feet thick and the doors weigh more than 300,000 pounds. A huge lift is built into the floor so workers can reach the engines, which can weigh more than eight tons. A typical engine, when it goes through the rebuild process, you know, is in a shop anywhere from 60 to 90 days. The engines are completely disassembled, all the piece parts are inspected, everything's reassembled, and then it has to come to this facility to be tested. The testing allows us to make sure that oil temperatures, oil pressures, uh, rotor speeds, um, exhaust gas temperatures, thrust, everything meets the parameters that we know that when we put it out on the aircraft, that it's gonna last as long as it's supposed to. We expect this facility to support not only Delta Airlines, but 150 other customers we have. And that should equate to about 1,000, 1,200 engines in the next three to five years. The real story about this facility is not that it's the largest test cell in the world, but it's what it represents. It's a legacy our senior technicians are gonna leave behind. It's all aimed at making Delta more competitive as more and more airliners and passengers take to the skies.